Oh, as well. Who else? Who else are from the bureau? Uh, all personnel of the bureau of customs, as well as personnel of NBI and PDEA, are likewise asked to stand up and take their oath. Para hindi na tayo pa ulit ulit. Yung hindi pa nakapag oath na nandito na invitado, please. Rise and uh, take your oath. Uh, Comsec, you're directed to administer the oath. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, excuse me. Uh, are you, are you Mr. Taguba? Okay. Did you? He did not take his oath yet. Okay. Please uh, join them. Uh, okay. Uh, Comsec, please administer the oath. Sir, ma'am, may we request to raise your right hand and repeat after me? I. Please state your name. Do hereby solemnly swear that I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this committee investigation. Thank you. Please uh, have a seat. Thank you very much. Okay. So, ito po ang ating uh, pagdinig sa Committee on Dangerous Drugs dito po sa mababang kapulungan ay uh, as much as possible ay uh, hanggat maaari ho, ay iiwasan ho natin na mapag-usapan yung mga napag-usapan na ho sa Senado kagahapon in order to abbreviate and expedite the proceedings but of course there will be questions that will be asked re relative to the revelations that were made yesterday uh, but I appeal to the members of the committee and those that are present today, uh, if possible, those that have been exhaustively discussed yesterday in the Senate hearing, uh, iwasan po natin. I'm not, uh, this is just an appeal. But if you feel that it is material to a point that you want to prove, you may do so by all means, and the chair would recognize you. So again, uh, the issue that was discussed uh, exhaustively yesterday was about the classification of goods and cargoes that will pass through green, yellow, green, yellow, and red, no? uh, unless you still have uh, questions. And uh, no less than the Bureau of Customs has admitted yesterday that there were lapses committed by the Bureau officials. And I heard uh, the Commissioner uh, saying that during an interview and during the questions that was asked uh, in the in the hearing yesterday, another po, itong uh, yung role so ng consignee at role nung uh, broker dito na established naman ho, no na established na uh, dun sa hearing yesterday that they were uh, consignee for hire at saka broker for hire. So, yun lamang po, uh, just for the information of the committee members and all those that are present today, these are information that we may not need to ask anymore para mapabilis tayo. And then uh, we can go on with, uh, with uh, our questioning. So, since uh, fortunately I am the chair of the committee, I would like to ask permission from the members to allow me to take the first crack and ask the question if possible. Hearing no objection, I guess uh, unless the majority leader would like to ask uh, profound questions first. Well, thank you very much. So, yung aking pong tanong will only focus, no? Doon sa glaring ineptitude of BOC personnel and officials. Bakit po glaring ineptitude? Eh, sabi nga natin kanina, eh, nakalabas itong mga kontrabando at mga illegal na mga kargamento at itong shabu right at their very noses. So, how come they were not able to detect this? How come as well that this cargo, particular cargo which contains shabu, passed through an express lane na hindi naman po dapat uh, according to their own Manual, perhaps it did not pass the parameters of passing through a or classifying it as a green lane cargo. So, ito hong uh, 
nangyari ay naging resulta ng pag-iismagel nitong uh, droga sa loob ng Bureau of Customs. In fact, hindi lamang siguro ito yung unang pagkakataon na nagkaroon ng ganitong klaseng smuggling ng droga. Kung ito, in spite of the fact na mahigpit ang ating kampanya laban sa droga, eh nakalusot pa rin ito ngayon sa pagkakataong ito, siguro nasa isipan din natin na maaring maisip natin na marami na rin nakalusot na droga dyan sa biuro kung kaya't hindi maubos-ubos ang supply ng droga sa kalsada. Again, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to point out is that there was an inefficient system that the Bureau has implemented. Meron po silang ginawang consent. Am I correct, uh, Commissioner? Yung COMSEN ay uh, isa pong tinatawag na command center, kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Can you please educate us, uh, Commissioner? Ano po ba in brief, no? Ano po ba itong COMSEN? Ano po bang powers nito? Sino po bang happy nito? At sino nagbabantay doon sa happy nito? Uh, yes, if you will allow me, Your Honor, to read the uh, important pers uh, provisions of the creation of the COMSEN. This COMSEN is... Because under the new law, the CMTA law, it says that the power to issue alert rests on the commissioner alone, unless it is delegated to another office or official of the bureau. That's why I do not want to do this myself because it's going to eat all my time attending to the issuances of alert orders. So we created a COMSEN, which is composed of the following. The Comsen Center, under the direct supervision of the Commissioner of Customs, that is per the new CMTA law, it will be led by a Comsen head and supported by personnel from the Bureau offices performing relevant functions as follows. Intelligence Group 1, Enforcement Group 2, Assessment, Operation and Coordinating Group 3, Revenue Collection Monitoring Group 4, Management Information System and Technology Group 5, Risk Management Office 6, X-ray Inspection Project 7, Account Management Office 8. So the Comsen has eight representatives to collegially discuss on all issuances of, of uh, alert. Uh, that's just one small function of the Comsen. If I may continue so that this the purpose of this COMSEN will be clearly understood by the body. The, that's just one small function of the COMSEN. The bigger part of the COMSEN is, is to monitor all activities of the Bureau. One is, by August 23, uh, we now comply with the full manning of uh, X-ray machines at Danaya. Today, it only has one. That is what we inherited. But there are 19 carousels at the uh, international airport, so all these carousels, hindi po yan na-X-ray, so that is how, how lax the border uh, security of our international airport. So uh, we thank you for DBM for allowing us to come up with those funds out of the budget for this year. So by August 23, lahat pong 19 carousels na yan, we will be having a remote controlled uh, X-ray machines. It will be viewed real time in the COMSEN so that we do not need to employ expert individually per carousel 19. So this one will economize uh, personnel in the bureau. Today we only have a little, uh, we have less than 3,000 personnel in the bureau. So this is uh, one, one uh, uh, purpose of the COMSEN. Another purpose of the COMSEN is, thank you Congress, uh, we had a special budget, you've given us 400 million for the procurement of our speedboats because our shorelines is unpatrolled when we assume none has, uh, when we assume no water capability of the Bureau of Custom has been in place. So with your budget, you have given us emer emergency procurement of this uh, 20, 20 speedboats. So real time, they are equipped with global Wi-Fi. So every activities of these uh, patrol boats who will be securing our borders the, in the control of proliferation of any contraband to the country will also be viewed real time in this COMSEN. 
the composition of the commission if you if if you we will provide you this we'll also provide provisions for the other law enforcement agencies of the government to observe AFP Coast Guard Navy and all the other law enforcement agencies so that real time there is a collation of all this information uh, by all the other government agencies this is part of the new restructuring of the bureau because under the new CMTA law the current setup of the bureau cannot accommodate the mandate so we, we put this up this new command center but this uh, alerting and lifting of alert is the smallest function of this bureau of this commission the bigger part is address on trade facilitation and border okay. security your honor Sige. thank you for that brief uh, information and education tungkol dun sa commission kasi hindi mawala sa aming isipan na yung command center which technically controls the operations of customs kasi sabi mo rito yung intelligence and enforcement under sa under sa commission correct tama di ba intelligence and enforcement under Re ng commission representative of that office your honor not not the group itself it's representative yeah, but from it's the office yeah but functions what that's what i'm saying yung function ng intelligence and enforcement group ay under sa commission head no right? your honor because it's there there to make sure that everything that's happening there is okay. collegially uh, commissioner let me refer you to the customs special order 45 series of 2016 nakalagay dito dun sa organization no uh, subject creation of a command center under the bureau of customs on uh, number three it says organization very clear eh? the commission is under the direct supervision of the commissioner of customs it will be led by a commission head and supported by personnel from bureau offices performing relevant functions as follows relevant functions as follows number one intelligence and enforcement group number two assessment operations coordinating group number three Revenue Collection Monitoring Group. Number four, MISTG, Management Information System and Technology Group. Number five, Risk Management Office. Number six, X-Ray Inspection Project. Number seven, Accounts Management Office. So technically, itong Comsen practically has control over all the operations dun sa loob ng pantalan. Yung pumasok, yung accreditation, magmula sa accreditation ng importer, accreditation ng broker, accreditation ng, kun, ng uh, mga shipper, dumadaan ho sa inyo yan, sa Comsen. But bukod doon, yung galaw ng kargamento, ay eh, under who din sa hepe ng Comsen. So, anong sinasabi yung maliit na bagay lang yung function ng alert at saka yung ano? Uh, that's not how this was intended to be. That's your interpretation, your honor and respect that. Excuse But me, in our, what do you mean it is our, not... In uh, our excuse me, uh, Commissioner. Ano po yung sinasabi nyo? That's not the way it was intended to be. You're referring to the, the customs order, the administrative order. Yes, this is a collegial body, Your Honor. This is not. So you're saying na ito walang kwenta ito? No, no. Uh, this this creation of Comsen represented by anybody from the offices who ever they want to designate to represent them there. Because in the issuances of alert and any other functions, the Comsen, there should be a real-time resolution. Because when we arrive at the Bureau of Customs, any of those organizations can issue alert. In fact, kahit sino eh, issue ng issue ng alert. So nagre-reklamo yung okay. ating mga importers. Okay, question, uh, Commissioner. Uh, when were you, what year were you, was, were you appointed sa Customs last year? Uh, June 30. 2016, your honor. I'm, I suppose after 12 o'clock, no? Yes, your honor. Okay, good. Simula nung naupo ka sa customs as the commissioner, eh, na-issue ka na bang alert? I suppose marami na, your honor. Ah, marami. Can you please submit to the committee the, the, the information where you issued alerts? Eh, I'm sure that this is documented, correct? Eh, isa doon sa ilalim niya, Eh, itong Accounts Management Office. Supported by personnel from the Bureau offices. That's, that's the key term here, Your Honor. Meaning, it's not the whole office that is under, but personnel. 
to support so that when there is an issue at hand at the Comsen, any that any concerned office they have a representative to trace out these issues quickly mm -hmm. so that it will not take hours before issues will be resolved that's really the spirit of why so i have here a copy of the customs special order wherein the powers and functions of the comsen is clearly stated no iniisa-isa niya dito eh doon sa number 2, sinabi niya doon, yung powers and functions ng Comsen, ha? number 2, it has the power to monitor and supervise the daily operations of the principal ports of entry and subports, as well as the regular performance of duties by the district collectors and or custom service duty officers using available communication and information technology. Hindi po ba enough yung powers na yon at function na yon as stated in the Customs Special Order, kung ano ang, ang function nito, ang anong power nitong Comsen. So, this, these are the speedboats that are attached to the different district, uh, regional districts. These are the X-ray machines and other support technical infrastructure that we are putting in place. So this structure is in anticipation of the enabling capacity of the Bureau in terms of uh, border security because that is what was clearly defined in the new CMTA law, Your Honor. So it has nothing to do with the function of the regional or the district collectors. It has nothing to do with it. it these are the support services that we are providing. CCTV cameras, X-ray machines, speedboats, and other equipment that we are providing. These are support services, Your Honor. Okay. Um, question. Yung bang uh, creation of a command center approved by the Secretary of the Department of Finance? May approval ba dito si Secretary? No, Your Honor. Why did you come up with this kind of a policy kung walang approval ng iyong immediate supervisor or immediate boss? Why? Th this... Uh, Comsen, Your Honor, was thoroughly discussed with uh, uh, the group, with the legal of the group, and I was informed that under the new CMTA, it allows us to restructure the Bureau. In fact, we have a more detailed restructure. Uh, we have already submitted this with the Department yeah, of Finance. Commissioner, the CMTA did not suggest that you create a command center. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. There is no command center there, but mm. there is a central clearing house. Mm. A central clearing house is where you have to collate all processes in the Bureau so that there will be no individually, because today, Your Honors, every issue will be resolved individually in the 17 districts, but mm. these are not uh, messing up with the daily activities of the collectors. These are the support services that we are providing the regional districts. This is the real intention of this uh, command center. And it is now included in the executive order. We, are, we have already s submitted at the DOF after almost one year of review. So it okay. is more detailed Sige. in that executive since, order, Your Honor. Since you strongly believe that the creation of a comsen will perform your mandate of curtailing smuggling, can you now honestly tell this committee na nakurtail ninyo yung smuggling sa Bureau of Customs? Sige nga, kung gano'ng ka-epektibo yung uh, comsen mo? Yes, Your Honor. If I may show you how... So, the, the data. let me qualify this, no? You are telling this committee na epektibo yung polisiya mo o yung, yung in-implement yung comsen. Is that what you're saying? It is more effective than the previous uh, setup, Your Honor. Okay, bakit nung una, wala naman tayong yatang narinig na may pumasok na bilyong-bilyong halaga ng shabu nung panahon na kung saan ang ini-implement nyo ay hindi pa itong komsen, no? So, yun lang, uh, kasi doon kami nagtataka eh. Nung inyong in-implement yung komsen na kung saan centralized na yung powers ng, ng customs sa isang committee ba, o committee, Eh, doon tayo nagkaroon ng problema doon sa pag-ismuggle ng 6.4 billion na halaga na sa buo. 
Samantalang nung una, maaring may nakalusot dyan, maaring may, may pumasok dyan. Pero wala po tayong nakitang o nabalitaan na ganyang kalaking klaseng uh, shipment na pumasok dito sa atin. Uh, and in spite of the fact that the administration is really serious in, in uh, combating this uh, menace, this drug menace. So yun lang ang naglalaro sa isipan ng karamihan. No? Uh, marami pang detalye na pwede nating himay-himayin dyan. At uh, I will give you the opportunity with the indulgence of the members to show us your presentation. And this is all about Comsen. The anti-smuggling, uh, as you have asked. A very short one. Two Sige, minutes. Please, uh, please your uh, make your presentation. If I would invite our honorable members of the Congress to look at, uh, because I, this is to answer the question of our honorable chair. Uh, the effort of the Bureau in one year, in the anti-smuggling effort, we have some comparison because we cannot see how well or bad we have performed if there is no comparison. On the left column is the performance of six years administration prior to the Duterte administration. So these are general merchandise, 10 billion in six years, the, uh, under the present administration, 5 billion. Next slide. Cigarette, anti-cigarette, because proliferation of is fake cigarette in the country is so huge. For six years, their effort of stopping smuggling of cigarettes to the country is 51 million. Our effort is 6 billion, 393 million already. And because of our raids sa Bulacan, sa Kasa, Pampanga, they are now fined 25 billion pesos. It's already 31 billion pesos compared to 51 million, Your Honor. Next slide. Anti-drugs. For six years, they apprehended 8.6 billion pesos. In one year, we already apprehended 8.082 billion, Your Honor. That's, that's drugs. Uh, those are the details. Next slide. Anti-smuggling effort. For six years, not a single importer or broker has been punished. And when I reviewed, ang babait pala ng importer dito, akala ko may smuggler sila. They have so many infractions in, the, in uh, transacting their business in the Bureau. So in one year, the Bureau has already suspended or cancelled 834 importers. Again, zero in the previous administration. So I think these people really love me. These owners of 834 importing companies. Next slide. Aside from that, we are investigating 1,400 importers. By September 15, our investigation will be completed. A lot of them will join those 800 that we have already suspended. Again, zero in the previous administration. This is our effort against smuggling. Next slide, please. Brokers, zero has been suspended or cancelled in the past six years. In the one year, we have already cancelled or suspended 65 Brokers, Your Honor. So that is our effort in curbing smuggling, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, are you done, uh, Commissioner? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Before we proceed, no, let me acknowledge the presence of our honorable members. Uh, Congressman Leopoldo Batawil, Congressman Ricky Sandoval of Malabon, Congressman Rogelio Neil Roque, Congressman Raul Tupas, and Congressman Joseph Paduano, Deputy Speaker Sharon Garin, and uh, Congressman uh, Rufi Biazon. Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, Congressman Biazon. Yes, I, I just arrived just in time to see a portion of the, uh, the presentation of the good commissioner. May I just ask some uh, questions, Mr. Chairman? Uh, Mr. Uh, Congressman uh, Biason, if uh, with your indulgence, uh, earlier we've uh, agreed to follow the rules on uh, members who wish to propound questions to our resource persons. If uh, would that, that would be all right, may we ask you to please uh, uh, ask uh, the committee secretary first for your uh, uh, question, unless it is related to the 
to the presentation. Yes, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I just beg the indulgence of my colleagues here. It has direct relation to the presentation that was just made. Okay, uh, may we ask Congressman Biason to please reserve the questions uh, later when your turn comes up because uh, it seems uh, uh, that the Mr. members Chairman, are Mr. Chairman, I just eager. feel that these, these questions might have an impact on the further proceedings and it may even affect uh, the appreciation of our colleagues. It might even influence the questions that they will be asking later on. If you're just going to raise a point, the chair would uh, acknowledge and allow you to share that point for one minute. But more than that, uh, Your Honor, I would like to appeal to you to please reserve your questions for later. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I'll just uh, res give my uh, input for that one minute. I may just state uh, for the record that it appears that the presentation of the Commissioner has some inaccuracies. Um, I don't know where the source of the information is, but definitely there are I don't know if we can call it a mistake or falsehood. So perhaps, Mr. Chairman, later on, you will be able to uh, okay. give me time to expound on this. Yes, uh, definitely, uh, Congressman Biason, the chair would uh, give you enough time to elaborate further on that particular point. So going back, babalik ang kulit si Commissioner, no? Uh, itong inyong uh, presente mukhang uh, magandang tingnan, eh, no? But the bottom line is, uh, question is, na-reach na nyo ba yung target nyo? <coughs> diba? Uh, it seems that you did not because yesterday in the Senate, binanggit, tinanong kayo dyan eh, and uh, nag-adjust kayo ng targets in order to meet, uh, supposedly, yung sinet nyong target. But uh, I, will not, I will not elaborate on that anymore because uh, there are other uh, members who wish to ask you more on that particular point. Ang sa akin lamang po, gusto ko lamang kasing sabihin na uh, bukod dito sa pagpapalabas ng container na questionable yung dinaanang proseso, questionable yung mga taong duma dinaanan nito, eh, pupunta ho ako dun sa isang punto pa. Uh, and I'd like to appeal to the members to please give me a few more minutes uh, before I start asking, uh, recognizing everybody to ask questions. Doon sa punto kasi, nung pagre-raid, no? ito napaka-importante because we, we are overlooking the fact that based on records, based on testimonies, based on the facts that we have on hand that was submitted to this committee, parang may nakikita tayong ginawang bungling doon sa raid na nangyari. No? Uh, it seems that uh, there were uh, attempts to cover up itong pag-discover nitong shabong ito no? doon sa conduct of the raid. Bakit ko ba nasabi yan? Uh, I was given the information that there were two stories that were concocted by no less than the commissioner and his officers in the bureau. And we'd like to hear that further later on if we start calling our witnesses. But in the meantime, uh, I'd like to give the opportunity sa mga taga Pidea, no, na kung saan ay nanduroon kayo mismo sa warehouse na ni raid ng Bureau of Customs no base sa impormasyon na inyong ipinasa dito sa amin so at this point i would like to ask uh, the director general of pidea general uh, sid la peña to please enlighten and educate itong aming committee sa totoong nangyari diyan sa raid na yan uh, general la peña you're uh, recognized Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, the uh, honorable members of this committee. The uh, PDEA uh, received uh, a call from, uh, I received a call from uh, Commissioner Peldon 
in the morning of uh, May 26. That is uh, about uh, between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning of, uh, of May 26. May 26 ng... Uh, umaga, Mayor. Umaga, okay. Yes, Mayor. And then uh, uh, he asked me to... For the presence of uh, PDEA uh, with regards to uh, the seizure of, uh, of, with regards to the uh, Shabu that uh, has been discovered by them. So um, I was out uh, then in uh, Mindanao that time. So I asked uh, the uh, regional director of uh, the National Capital Region, PDEA, the person of Director uh, Wilkins Villanueva to go see uh, Commissioner Pildon and which uh, the Director Director Villanueva did. And uh, um, after that, uh, Director Villanueva uh, went went uh, to uh, the Bureau of Customs and. Uh, uh, and uh, presented himself and uh, to coordinate uh, to, to the warehouse where the uh, Shabu uh, are found. And uh, he presented himself to uh, Commissioner Peldon and uh, for him to take appropriate action. And so from there, uh, Your Honor, um, may I request uh, Director uh, Villeneuve with your permission to tell the details of uh, what happened Okay. Uh, okay. During his presence. Okay. Uh, Director Villanueva, please. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor, um, may I request uh, to uh, approach the chair? Yes. Uh, 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 we'll sus suspend the session of the, the committee hearing for one minute. Uh, meeting is uh, suspended. <laughs> The hearing is resumed. Okay. Um, the chair, together with our majority leader, has discussed with uh, the director general of uh, the PDEA on the discussion of sensitive issues. And along that line, uh, we felt that it would be necessary for the meantime to sit in an executive session 
with the PIDEA Director General and PIDEA agents, perhaps in the other room. Mr. Chairman, yes, uh, Majority Leader. In view of the uh, statement made by the Director General of the PIDEA when he approached us, I move that we move to another room for an executive session of members only. Okay, there's a motion to, to conduct an executive session at the other room as uh, requested. Hearing no objection, the motion is approved. In the meantime, the committee hearing is temporarily suspended.